Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to do this look that I've been thinking of in my head for a while. I actually meant to do it um, before Thanksgiving. Well, I was thinking I would do it maybe for Thanksgiving, but then I, don't know, I just got busy um, and I couldn't. So alas, we're doing it now. I'm going to start off with the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. Love this stuff. But yeah, I wanted to do this like monochromatic look that was centered around browns. And that's what I was thinking like Thanksgiving. I don't know, to me Thanksgiving is kind of like the perfect holiday to do a look like that. But I mean, we're close. Thanksgiving just passed, so. And I want to keep this simple. I'm actually not using any um, foundation today. So I'm just going to use concealer. Now I'm going to use two concealers, so I feel like this is kind of cheating. But the, um, the concealer is by Too Faced, and it is the Born This Way um, concealer. And this is in the shade Warm Sand. I love it because it has this like huge doe foot applicator. And you can just kind of put it all over your face and it's easy to spot conceal. Like I have spots. Oh my skin, don't even get me started. But you can just kind of like spot conceal wherever you want to put some coverage. And it's just so easy. And then I'm gonna go in with a sponge and just blend it out like you would foundation. I hope this color matches. Yeah, I think it matches. It matches well enough. Yeah, so this basically doubles as like foundation. And you can skip foundation and just use concealer. So the second concealer that I'm gonna use is by Rare Beauty. Um, this is the one by Selena Gomez, and this is in the shade 320 W. This concealer is so easy to blend, easy to use. This is like the perfect type of concealer. If you're just in a quick, you know, you're in a hurry, you just want to kind of put something on, but you don't have a lot of time to like fuss. This is a perfect concealer. Just because it blends out so nicely. And I don't think I mentioned that. I want to do like this monochromatic brown look, but I want it to be something that would be very like wearable, very easy to put on, nothing that would like take too long. One of those like on the go type of looks. Okay, so next is um, powder. So I'm going to use the Pat McGrath, um, this is the Sublime Perfection Powder in the shade Medium. I am just going to use a little bit of that. Oh, I forgot. I was watching this, um, this YouTube video and so someone was, someone was making a YouTube video about somebody who made a TikTok video. Anyways, it was basically this concealer trick. And I wanted to try it the next time I, um, I did makeup, I was going to try it, but I forgot. But basically what it, what they were saying was that you put on your concealer and then you use a little bit of your setting spray and kind of like dab it in and then you put the powder on top, I think. Um, oh, sorry about that. Um, but yeah. And so I wanted to try it. I forgot. I'm so bummed. Okay. Next time. And I always have to put powder right there, in the corners of my nose. Because no matter what, always creases on me. Okay, and then 
For the rest of my face, I honestly was debating using any powder at all, just because I don't feel like, you know how some like product, you can feel it feels more wet? This doesn't at all. Like my face doesn't feel, hmm. I'm gonna skip powder. If you need powder, obviously powder your face, but I'm just gonna skip that, just because it, it adds to this like quick, everyday, you know, type of makeup. So, I am going to use, I'm going to go straight into bronzer, but really fat here it is. I'm going to go in with my Hoola Benefit on the uh, Sigma E50, and I am just going to contour my nose really fast. Just a little bit, I like to do a little bit on the sides right there, kind of in the middle, and then I just kind of blend up. And down. Okay, going with bronzer. This is the City Bronzer by Maybelline in the shade 300. I'm just taking a fluffy brush because I'm not going to worry about contouring. Um, I am just bronzing. I feel like contouring is really, I don't know. At least for me, it's something that I have to like, I don't know, I have to do with like precision. I have to take my time. I have to think about it. I have to give my brush pep talks. Like it's like a whole thing. So if I'm in a hurry, I'm just like, we're just bronzing. It's fine. Okay, bronzer is done. Moving right on to blush. For blush... I'm going to use this one. This is the um, Bare Minerals Let's Go Nude. It's, what, it's part of their Gen Nude blush line. And these are some of my favorite, right next to MAC. I love these. I was playing with the Patrick Ta blush again today, and I still like it. I'm pretty sure I talked about it before on my channel. The one where it's... Um, what is it? It's like, it's like half cream, half powder, this one. I really, really love this, but I really wish this shade was actually matte. The more and more I think about it, I mean, I really never wear blushes with any type of like sheen. That one, I mean... It's like a slight sheen, so I feel like it's close to matte, but there's definitely a sheen. Maybe he'll come out with more that are just matte. I don't know why, I just love matte blushes. I think because it allows you to choose where you wanna put your highlight. Because I don't necessarily want highlight like everywhere, you know, so. Anyway. Blush is done. We're moving right along. All right, now for highlight. So this is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Glow highlighter. I'm just going to go in and just kind of try to focus this at the high points. Maybe a little bit at the top of the apple. I'm just going to put a little bit at the high point of the bridge and then at the tip. And whatever is left over, I'm not going to go in with any more, just whatever is left over, just going to pop, which actually that was a decent amount left over, just going to pop some on the chin. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the blending brush. This is the 5523 by Hakuhoto, and I'm actually just going to go back in to the same bronzer. Just because this is kind of like a monochromatic look, I'm going to do a brown lip. Um, and then obviously the bronzer is brown. That's pretty much it. So I wanted to add a little bit more brown. So I'm just going to dust some of this into the crease. 
This is my favorite thing to do. Like just in general, not trying to do anything monochromatic, but I love using bronzer in the crease. Going with the pencil brush, same color. And taking some of this right along the bottom lash line. And then I'm actually going to do one more thing. I'm going to go in with this uh, Mario's. This is the Master Pigment Pro Pencil in the shade Super Black. So it's just a black eyeliner. And I'm going to go in with kind of a closer mirror. But basically I'm going to um, just do kind of a, a thin line on the top. And then I'm going to try his little smudger tool here. And smudge it out. Now this goes on really, really nicely, like really easy. It's very cream, cream, it's creamy. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Okay, I don't feel like, I'm not doing well with this little smudgy brush. Um, it's probably just me. So I'm going to go in with this short shader brush. This is the E20 by Sigma. And I think because it's shorter, I have, I, mean, I, th I feel like I'm going to have more control versus this that's longer. So you guys can see. So with the longer one, I don't know, I just didn't feel like I was able to really like smudge like I wanted to trying to make sure I'm in shot here yeah this works a lot better for me I think maybe it's just kind of like a tool preference I don't love this at least not for what I was doing um but his eyeliner bomb so good so good so I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to finish the other. I do the exact same thing um, and then add some mascara and I'll be right back to show you guys the lipstick because I'm excited. The lipstick is what inspired this like whole look. Like I got the lipstick and I was like, oh, I want to do this look. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is the final look, complete with a brown sweater and all. Um, but yeah, I love the way this turned out. I actually am glad that I highlighted though, because originally I was like, no, I really want it to just be like very monochromatic. I don't need highlighter. But now thinking about it, because I have so much brown on my face, I mean, my lips are brown all around my face with the bronzer, my eyeshadow. I feel like the highlighter really helps give my face like dimension so it doesn't look so flat, especially with all the brown. So that's, yeah, I'm really glad that I highlighted. Um, but on my lips really fast. So the liner that I used is the KKW Beauty. This is her lip liner in the shade Nude 2. So I know I've talked about this before, I'm pretty sure, because I love this lip liner. But this is so pretty. I feel like this lip liner honestly is perfect, not just for a look like this, but like so many lipsticks. I tend to use it for um, like nudes, like pinky nudes um, that will look too harsh if I just put them on. So I'll usually line it with this and then I'll put like a light pink nude and kind of blend them together. But yeah, a good brown lip liner can go far. So I feel like everyone should get one. Um, but yes, all over my lips, this is the lipstick. It's by AJ Crimson. So first of all, look at this packaging. It's like super retro. It's like this metal looking tube. Um, and this shade is called, actually this shade is called No Shade. <laughs> but this is like the perfect brown lipstick. It's so pretty. So I know it's on my lips, but because my lips do have some natural pigment, I'll swatch it for you guys. So that is what the lipstick looks like swatched. It almost kind of looks like a honey brown, but I mean, it's definitely a brown, like a true brown. So I love it. I love the way this turned out. This is exactly what I envisioned when I was thinking of this look. So yeah, if you guys like this too, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notifications. If you have any questions, leave them below. Yeah. And other than that, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.